you think that is a very strict and uh, thorough job? Well, I don't want to jump to wild conclusions. But by and large, I believe they must have done a thorough job, a just one. And in spite of the speculations in the social media, they have not released the names of those that were recommended for disqualification. But be that as it may, my own candidate, my own principal, and who is that? Must have done a thorough job, a just one. And in spite of the speculations in the social media, Senator, he was a two-time governor, and it's preposterous. It's a gratuitous insult for anyone to insinuate that he has been disqualified. So they are saying that he may have been disqualified. No, you know, when you are the front runner, you will be the subject of the most vitriolic of attacks. And if you keep on stopping to throw stones at every dog that backs, you will not reach your destination. We know where we are going. We are very confident of victory, inshallah, on Monday. And such issues do not distract us. Mm. We believe is in the context. What we are hearing is that the party or the screening committee seems to want to give chance for younger folks. Does that in any way inhibit the chances of your principal? I do not think so. Because it is a function of the mind. It's just a number. And there are some younger people that can perform abysmally low. My own principal has the experience exposure and a lucid mind to add value to the nation. And we are a very critical conjuncture in the current annals of Nigerian history, buffeted by all sorts of challenges, be it security, be it economy. So a leader that we need, shown is a leader who understands the dynamics of running a modern economy. The wall is a knowledge-driven wall. We have moved from the agricultural age to the industrial age. Now we are in the post-industrial knowledge-driven age. And you need a Nigerian president who has tested, who has been tested with excellent and competent leadership skills. And most importantly, with all these agitations for non-inclusion and separatist tendencies around the country, you need a leader who understands the Nigerian sociology. And we don't have a better person. Can anyone come out and dispute what he had said? Neither in what it gives. About taking ownership of being Not responsible only. for uh, he, he President Buhari's he played a very crucial. To... He played a very crucial role in the ascendancy of President Buhari. I was a foundational member of the APC. And those that suffer from memory amnesia may forget about the role of Ashua Jutinibu in the ascendancy of President Muhammadu Buhari. If we can go down memory lane, you know, their relationship transcends, goes beyond 2015. It started quite earlier. They made an attempt at a marriage, even in 2011 election. But prior to the 2014 2013 merger and subsequent presentation of Muhammad Buhari. Some almost traditional, a almost traditional ruler from northern Nigeria led his own team, went to Ashwaju in Lagos and told him, not in our name, he doesn't represent us. A group of retired generals equally approached Ashwaju and told him, not in our name, he is not our candidate. So also, the Northern establishment, a professor, led the team and disowned President Buhari. And to add insult to injury, the icing on the cap was a delegation from Kasina that disowned the president and said he is not their anointed candidate. He withstood all those pages. And at the presidential primaries in Lagos, without the block board, from the southwest, Buhari couldn't have clinched that problem. I was part of that. There are those who used a sense of entitlement 
that he said that he has oh, made Yoruba people proud and all of that. But it, now is the time of the Yoruba people, and he is a man for the job now. So those who have criticized that, that in itself is a sense of entitlement. What is wrong with him demanding for the leadership? He has paid the price, and this is a man when his other AD colleagues were blood John were roasted by the wily old general from Ota. He had the wits, the wisdom to stood his ground. Not only that, sir, this is a man with a ferocious pension of sacrificing his own good for the enthronement of democracy in this country. The Yorubas respect Obafemi Aulo not because He's an Ijebu man. No. They respected him, not because he was a lawyer. They respected him because he was a transformational leader who invested heavily in infrastructure, in education. And Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tinibu is about the most successful politician from the Southwest ever seen. He has built men and institutions. So you cannot even call him is amongst equals. It's a gratuitous insult. The Minister of Works and Housing is his protege. He's one of the best performing ministers under the current system. Rob Arek Beshola was his commissioner for works and housing for eight years. The vice president, a very cerebral person, was his attorney general and commissioner of justice for eight years. I can roll out near a day most of the ministers... So you deserve that yes. sense of entitlement? Yes. He should be given the right of peace refusal. What is wrong? For the presidency of this country? For the country? presidency of this country. Out of the over 200 million Nigerians. He has aspired. We have not stopped other people from aspiring for that position. Every Nigerian, 25 people, 23 have been screened. Any other Nigerian has the right to aspire for any position. But that does not preclude him from exercising his fundamental right as a citizen of this country. And most importantly, with the skills, with the administrative skill set and the intellect to transform. Is country. he offended that uh, maybe the president did not accord him that chance of force refusal? Let me be very, very frank with you. He wasn't offended. That particular interview was deliberately taken, distorted has doubted the competence of Professor Sibanjo. He's a very humble, competent, cerebral person. But we believe that in terms of intellect, capacity, reach, and the ability to move this nation forward, and most importantly, for us to win the upcoming election, the best candidate that the APC has is Ashwa Jubola Ahmed in a book. With the name recognition, mind you, the dynamics has changed with the emergence of Atiku, Vice President Atiku Abubakar as the candidate of the PDP. We need someone who can match and even overshadow him in terms of brand name recognition, in terms of intellect, in terms of capacity, even in terms of indefatigability. So this is why we are championing the cause of Ashwa Bola Ahmed Tinubu. He's not best among equals. He's the best amongst his mentees. You think he's the best? Yeah, certainly. So you best. mentioned Atiku Abubakar from the same northeast as Atiku Abubakar. Is there an even? I mean, does that make the race even in that sense? Well, my own position is very simple. APC was formed by a major of so many interests. The ACN, the ANPP, the CPC, the ABGA, ABGA, and of course the new NPN. And in a multi-ethnic, multi-religious polity like ours, we have to be sensitive and conscious of the diversity of the nation. Ahmed Lawan is my kinsman, is my brother, and he holds me in the highest esteem. And I played a very prominent role in his emergence as the president of the Senate against my own kinsman, Mohamed Alindume. 
But leadership goes beyond sentiments. He has spent 20 years in the Senate, in the legislature. He's a, he has a PhD in geography. He had spent a stint in the academia before joining the political industry. Does he have the administrative skill set to rule a complex nation like Nigeria? This is a million dollar question, and most importantly, sir. Can he also stand shoulder to shoulder with an article of Ubaka? He can't. You think so? I, that's the fact. You know, he's a peace amongst equals. Let's not delude ourselves. He became a senator with 144,000 votes. I became a senator with votes two and a half times that he garnered in UB. No. Go to Ohiapia or Izochuku and ask for Ahmed Lawan. The first name that will come to their mind is that of the tomato dealer who is bringing tomato from Medubri. Go to any other part of the South. Does the brand name sells? So you think Tunubu is a name that sells? Tunubu is the best person. We, we don't even have any option. What about Oshibanjo? Does the name sell? The VP? Oshibanjo is a good man. He's a nice man. But nice men do not make good leaders because nice men tend to be nasty. Nice men should be selling popcorn, ice cream, and balabobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobob